They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. I strike with no warning, no, they don't see it coming. I handle my business, stay the fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak, 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 yeah, I'm on a winning streak. You have to watch these niggas, dog. Always in situations trying to fuck you over. Always looking and peering over the blind, trying to see what the best time is to try to fuck you over and embarrass you. And you have to be able to read these signs early. And this is why I preach the three S's. The second S is so fucking important because you putting the wrong person around you could lead you into doing a whole bunch of shit that you don't want to do, but you just got to get this energy out of you. You're so furious that a nigga fucked you over or what your homeboy did or what this nigga did or what this person did that you got now you got to go take a ride down the street and drive real fast and you get in a fucking car wreck. It's better to just be alone because nine and a half times out of nine and a half times. Are you serious? I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Me and Two Moon. Get a big home. Subscribe to the Big Facts Podcast. I walk around with bands longer than what all y'all got. Got impeccable flows. They never tell me no. Y'all leave when I say go. This year we gon' blow. The do do they know my pockets bigger than they got. I walk around with bands longer than what all y'all got. Got impeccable flows. They never tell me no. Y'all leave when I say go. This year we gon' blow. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Thanks Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. Don't mind being home, whatever like that. Uh, the child came over earlier and um, wanted to see if he was a real human or not. Can they see that? Let's move this over there. Sure, you can't see that. Uh, so don't mind that. But I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. Stare dastardly. Damn, I ain't got my light on. I'm fucking up. I'm doing this real quick. I gotta go over here to Grandma's house to, um, be with the family. Y'all know I don't like holidays. Uh, so I just wanna go say hi at least and, and just so, you know, be cordial and shit. And I gotta get the dog some dog food too. I'm on a tight schedule right now. But I just wanna talk to y'all about this um about this tea. Dog, real talk, Omarion baby mama, the, the the bitch that he was in love with, then caught one of his homeboys and got him to get her pregnant. Um and just from a man standpoint, I wanna know. I, it's bothering me because I, I remember now I didn't say um, in this year's Are You Serious? For the, I'm going to have to just put this up there anyway. But who do you blame in this situation? And who you blame in this situation will really tell me who you are. Um, the girls are talking about this shit. You'll see all the female blogs, the T blogs. They talk about this shit, but they not, they not talking about, you know what I'm saying? what the fuck because because they don't want to they don't want to confirm what's already known which is this is a nothing ass bitch say what the fuck needs to be said this nothing ass bitch went out there and did some dirty ass shit and she found a duck ass fuck nigga like here it is Lil Fizz so if you don't know Omarion baby mama is pregnant by Lil Fizz if you don't know Lil Fizz and Omarion is in the same group it was four of them niggas and crazy, of course, because Om Omarion was the only nigga keeping B2K alive. And we have to know their name because it's like we were the same age and shit. Chris Brown, we the same age as these motherfuckers. If you, you know what I'm saying, anywhere between, you know what I'm saying, 
28 to goddamn 35, nigga, we the same age as these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you yeah, Omarion, J. Boog, uh, Lil Fizz with the fake-ass light-skinned rapper, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have one of them in the group, I guess. For every group, they gotta be the bad boy type nigga. Um, and then, the, the gay-ass nigga, uh, J. Uh, Raz B. Raz B, you know what I'm saying? That's the nigga, Michael Stowe, all that good shit. But, Dog, if it wasn't for Marion, y'all niggas don't have no motherfucking, in my opinion, nigga. Y'all probably still would have been on the fucking, um, the, what is, uh, what do they call this tour, the Millennium Tour? Y'all still probably would have been on that, but, but Omarion has kept this fucking group alive. He's the front runner and has been the front runner. He's the only one who's dropped music. He did what the fuck he had to do. He took the goddamn pay cut and went over there with Ross and them. You know what I'm saying? That didn't work out, and so he went to love and hip hop and shit like that. You really gotta pretty much respect that shit. Uh huh. And um, but I want to talk about this whole. I'm gonna fuck. Your bitch dynamic. A nigga last night in my live said that uh, that might be because Omarion spoke up about Lil Fizz molestation. Um, was he talking about was he talking about Lil Fizz molesting somebody, or was he talking about Lil Fizz and them being molested by Chris Stokes? I don't fucking know, but I don't give a fuck about that. Right now, what I'm talking about is in real life, dog. You don't fuck. Uh, if it, she my baby mama, you can't fuck her. You know what I'm saying? And plus the fact, so baby mama make off limits off top because we don't play. We're not gonna let this. But the whole point of it is not because uh, nigga don't fuck my bitch because she's so bad. No, no, no. Don't fuck her because I don't. Don't let this whole win. You know what the fuck going on? Like nigga, if the fuck she try to fuck you, it's obviously because she trying to get at me. You gonna help her hurt me and you my homeboy? You don't even come to a nigga and ask, hey bro, you goddamn look, bro. I, I wanna come to you first, bro. Dog. You you still fuck with goddamn uh Erica, bro? Dog, you don't even ask that question. Like what so what the fuck? How are you gonna fuck? So my nigga, you ain't got no hoes? And that's that, that's why you that's why you really it's hard it's hard to say. But that's why my niggas always had, always made an edict. It was an edict. Under no circum fucking stance do we ever cross ties. We ain't never gonna cross dicks. We never gonna do that. If it's not no fat white hoe we bring over here that's for the team, if it's not a prostitute I bring in here, you know what I'm saying, that I'm pimping and shit like that. Dog, what you get, this is standard Real nigga lot uh textbook. You get a main hoe and a side bitch. No nigga can fuck with that. And and that of course goes into baby mama. You get a main hoe and, and to be honest with you though dog, I'm be for real with you. The only reason because a nigga can get a hoe pregnant, a nigga can get a hoe pregnant and I have no fucking feelings for it and shit like that. But because you my nigga, you know what it is. So it's like, dog, if you fucked up, I don't want her. If we wasn't fucking this hoe together, I don't want her. Oh, you fuck? Oh, no. Bitch, what the fuck you doing? Like, hold the fuck? I'm thinking you trying to hurt my homeboy. If you try to fuck me after you done fucked him, I'm going to think you trying to fuck over my homeboy in some kind of way. You must be trying to hurt him. Bitch, get the fuck from around me, hoe. Before I get my bitch to beat you the fuck up. That's how you pose a handle that, but you lame ass niggas. Oh uh, man, bro, she was she was trying to fuck with me, bro. She was trying to fuck with me, bro. And this is for your nigga, not a nigga you met over here. Hey, what up, dog? You know, a, a, a co-worker at work. Uh, this nigga. No, no, no. I'm trying, yo, nigga. This your nigga. Like y'all know what I'm saying? Like we didn't. Really, this shit is for. Like I'm honestly. Honestly, with me, I'm a scary ass nigga. Once you've invited me into your house, as long as we are 
friends, I'm not fucking with this hoe. I'm not fucking with her. Um, now, and of course, if you do something to fuck me over, and see, I probably don't even remember that shit. I, I might, but it just, I just don't, I'm not fucking with no nigga bitch. I'm not fucking with no nigga hoe. For me to fuck with a nigga hoe, it's just, it gotta be some shit like, of course, when I was, you know, young and shit like that, you know, a bitch could tell me I got an old man and shit like that. And I wouldn't give a fuck. But of course, now, back then I was retarded. I wasn't living for shit. Now that I'm, you know, older and more mature, it's like, no, nah, you can have that shit. I don't have time to play those games. Because I know everybody in the world isn't me. So niggas will kill you. And they've been doing that shit. I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. I'm not coming to your house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you gotta be careful with that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's just not my shit. Like, I may have had a, like I said, when I was younger, 19, 20, and shit like that, where I was like, I'm, I, I ain't fucking with nothing but bitches that's in a relationship. Cause I'm sure I was in some type of relationship. Um, but at this point, with me being single, I don't want to go through the shit. Like, I don't. Uh, I'm finna leave him, and if if, if y'all at that point to where he can't stand you and shit like that, I'm probably gonna get that point too. So I, I'd rather just start with something fresh. Um, but I'm definitely not coming to your house. But this this is totally different. This is you are my nigga. We've grown together. We've grown together. And then they're saying that there's some overlap between her pregnancy and them being on the Millennium Tour. So you was fucking my baby mama, and it was it was obvious that um, Omarion and April were in love. So it's so this is the whole thing. The reason why my nigga, like, what points, like, why the fuck would you do that? Why would you do that? So you know, this is this is scorched earth. Like this this this, this shit got bad. Like so, it's all between me and her. We have a beautiful child. I'm in my child's relationship. I'm in my child's life. So you gonna be? <laughs> you gonna be my child's stepdaddy, my homeboy, and my my baby mama, baby daddy? Are you serious, nigga? That shit just too confused. I might well just key. I might well key if I even go through that confusion. And what makes it even worse, dog, is that when they have him on camera, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get a, uh, a snippet off this shit. Uh, when they have him on camera, because the messy bitch April is uh, making sure she show, uh, yeah, we're just living our life and shit like that. He don't never want to be on camera. He like hide from the camera and shit like that. So fuck nigga, you know that you're doing wrong. You know that she's using you to get back at him. And better even furthermore, you know that y'all relationship is not gonna last. I hope that this hoe puts you on child support. I hope you get on dope and not that this shit just chase you all the way down the road. And I hate on top of this that the bitch is not being put in the hot seat. This nothing ass bitch. I'm sure she has Omarion on child support. This bitch is going to call Little Fizz a nothing ass nigga because he's not taking care of his responsibilities. When she knew that this is nothing but a fucking revenge child. Meaning, I'm having this child just to let that nigga know that it's all the way over with. Even though it's not all the way over with. This is what this is where being a woman comes in. Like I'm just so fucking mad right now. I'm gonna fucking ah. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. It's this is the shit that a bitch get. She's in court. She's getting sentenced, and she don't like what the judge said. So she try to walk out the fucking courtroom because as long as she mad, it don't matter what nobody else say. Come on, dog. We seen this shit. You just so fucking mad. You just um. Son of a bitch. I'm mad. So I'm gonna bring a child into the world. And you fuck nigga, you helped her do this shit. 
knowing what was going on. Like, dog, you not lame. You've had hoes before. You know how hoes be, like, trying to get at niggas and shit like that. You probably got a bitch trying to do it to you. And you help this hoe? Fuck if you not fucking with him. You gonna help a bitch hurt a nigga when you have a bitch that's trying to hurt you? And you would call a nigga lame for helping that hoe hurt you? What a lame ass nigga, dog. And it just, and it just, it furthermore confirms how important the three S's are. Your bitch will flirt with your homeboy trying to get you to fuck with her. Because a, a, a bitch will go talk to a grandma or a, a, a mom and shit like that. Oh yeah, girl, your daddy, oh, he didn't, he wouldn't even look my way. And it's, now it's a fucking cricket. This all over the camp. Uh, oh, he wouldn't even look my way until um, I started fucking with his brother. We've been married ever since. That dumbass shit. And it's like, I'm not going now. But I just want to, you know, how are you niggas set up as far as, did you put it down? Did you leave it unsaid? Did you, did, was this an unwritten code between you and your homeboys? Or did you make sure that it was said out loud when you was with your, you know what I'm saying, your niggas before we got old and everybody had to go to work? When you was with your homeboys and shit like that, did you make sure it was known? Hey, nobody going to fuck nobody, first hoe, side hoe, baby mama. All the rest of the bitches, fair game. But no main hoe, no side. Like, where did y'all go? Y'all feel like all the nigga get is his main bitch and everybody else can get fucked? Or, you know, how did you run it and shit like that? Because you have to watch these niggas, dog, always in situations trying to fuck you over, always looking and peering over the blind Trying to see what the best time is to try to fuck you over and embarrass you. And you have to be able to read these signs early. And this is why I preach the three S's. The second S is so fucking important. Because you putting the wrong person around you could lead you into doing a whole bunch of shit that you don't want to do. But you just got to get this energy out of you. You're so furious that a nigga fucked you over or what your homeboy did or what this nigga did or what this person did that you got it. Now you got to go take a ride down the street and drive real fast and you get in a fucking car wreck. It's better to just be alone because nine and a half times out of nine and a half times, a person is going to let you down. They're going to let you down. I just don't understand it. Yes, she's going to make advances. She's going to act like, oh, I just want to suck your dick. I just, I just always want to fuck you. Ah, she's going to give you all this shit. She's going to try to seduce you. She's going to try to give you money, all that good shit. Because to her, revenge and seeing that person, Omarion, that person, who the fuck it is, her, is worth it. All of that shit. And this bitch has leveraged a child's life for just one of Omarion's tears. And I'm not sure why these fucking, uh, fucking messy bitch vlogs, YouTube channels, are not pointing out the fact that this is a nothing ass bitch, a scummy ass bitch, the scum of the fucking earth type bitch. But not because of any other reason. If she was just fucking a nigga, I, 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 damn, ho, you a cold, you still a cold, nothing ass bitch. But you gonna purposely get pregnant? This nigga ain't hiding from the camera because, bitch, you fucked him over. You fucked him over. This nigga probably was on. I'm finna fuck this hoe. This nigga try to fuck with the motherfucker, but he ain't trying to bring no baby in the world. And that's what you have to understand, my nigga. The first rule about making deals with the devil is don't. Because wherever you trying to go, they trying to go, they all, oh, yeah, we, we're, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. He's a boy. Yeah, he's a bullshitter. Yeah, we just going to goddamn beat this nigga up. Oh, yeah, we're going to beat him up, all right? 
Y'all go in the house together and this nigga blow this nigga head off. Now you got, like, it don't matter now, nigga. You going down just like he going down. Capital murder. You can tell all you want. Capital murder. You motherfuckers got a common enemy, so y'all come together to hurt him. And it say so much about so much shit, like, y'all on the Millennium Tour because y'all fucked up, y'all ain't got no goddamn money, y'all hate each other so fucking much that you're presently, at that time, fucking this nigga's, the love of his life. He loved this bitch. And you couldn't turn away? If you come out and say anything other than fuck that nigga, you even more of a fuck nigga. You come out saying, man, it wasn't even all that fuck shit. You know, you, you I, I got a clip right now where um, Dame Daz went to uh, KJLH radio station and he had to check a hoe. And, and when he checked her, she, she said that she didn't bring up child support. When she did bring it up, we all heard she brought it up, but then she starts laughing. <laughs> I didn't bring that up. Dog, ain't nothing that makes me more mad <clears throat> than a person that's wrong, but claiming that they're right whilst laughing about how wrong they are. But you won't verbally say, I, yeah, I did, I am kind of, I did fuck. Dog, I hate that shit so much. Take accountability, respect, re Accept responsibility and move on. I hate those kind of people, dog. I hate them. I don't give a fuck what you did wrong. Say you did it fucking wrong and we can move forward. I don't give a fuck how petty it is. You did it wrong. I pointed it out. Let's move forward. Don't fucking look. Tell you, dog. That's that's why I say, dog. I just it just I have too many pet peeves. I just I don't need to be around people, dog. That's why I, I don't really I don't really like holidays. I just want to be by myself, man. I just want to be by myself. <sighs> Big Facts Podcast. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Y'all, let me know what kind of rules y'all set. And if you still fucking with a whole bunch of niggas right now, let me know what kind of stories you got about you know your bitch and, and what she doing and shit. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.